Hey friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. This is Gina. I am so excited to be with you here today to go over some awesome toy choices for 2023 moving into 2024. So um, if you've got a holiday coming up, birthday, whatever occasion that you want to celebrate for any littles in your life, these toys are going to be fabulous. I know because I generally put these out at my store to keep kids distracted and not touching merchandise that I don't want them to break. So happy to endorse all of these. And the brand that we're specifically focusing on today is going to be Fat Brain. So Fat Brain is a brand of toy that um, I've been familiar with for probably about the last seven or eight years, and I have been thrilled to sell it. I've been thrilled to see the kids come into the store and play with it. Uh, I constantly get compliments from people who have it that they were really thrilled with the choice. So i um, glad to go over some tried, tested, true winners with you here today in a variety of age ranges and price ranges. So um, again, uh, there are other good toy brands as well, but in this video, we're just going to be focusing on Fat Brain. So starting off, I'm going to start with... <clears throat> smallest age range and then working our way towards older children. We've got the dimple from Fat Brain. I love this toy because it's around 13 to 15 dollars depending on where you're purchasing it and it is a tactile toy. It says on the box 10 months plus but I tell people you could start even with a child as little as six months. Um, the idea is they have this little plastic piece here and then they have the silicone poppers. So poppers have been hot for a long time as a toy. If you have any kids in your life, you'll know that the fidgets and the poppers have been very popular. What I'll say is particularly special about this one versus other options that they have um, is that the dimples on this are all different sizes. So not only do they feel different when you pop them, they're not all identical, but the noise that they make as they're popping is different because the size of them varies from uh, each one to the other. So um, there's a lot of popper toys that have poppers that are all the same size, and I'm sure that those are really awesome. But I think if you have a child in your life that's particularly mindful of specific sensory things, they might appreciate that this one is different sizes and different sounds depending on which one uh, you're pushing. The other thing I love about this toy, and I do recommend it for parents quite a bit, is that it's small enough to fit into a diaper bag. It's a great travel toy. So um, if you just want something to keep them occupied, this is great. And I would say I've seen kids as big as up to two to two and a half still have engagement with it and play with it. I love sitting here popping these, but um, you know, that's just a personal quirk. So uh, it could be fun for adults as well, depending on who they are. I'm gonna get this back in its packaging and we should be all set with that. Now, moving along, so that again, the dimple from Fat Brain. The next one that I would wanna talk to you all about is the Pop and Slide Shelly. This is really, really kind of similar to the one that we just saw. The difference here is, is that this I think requires a little bit more, it'll say it starts at 10 months. I'd probably introduce it to a child 14 to 15 months and older, just because they would have to be able to sort of see the uh, parts of the Shelly turtle popping around and popping up onto the other parts of the shell. So this is a keep their attention toy. They're gonna play with it over and over again. It has a high rate of return. That's something that's really important for me. I don't wanna give a kid a toy. They play with it one time and then they never play with it again. Uh, both this, everything really that you're looking at on our table today is gonna to have a high rate of return. Pop Inside Shelly price point is probably, I'm gonna say between 15 and $17, depending on the retailer. So again, um, I would say Dimple is probably for a little bit younger. Pop and Slide Shelly, probably I would start at 18 months plus. There is, they say 10 months to age three. I'd say 18 months to three and a half or even four because you could have bigger kids sitting there and just playing with this repeatedly. It's keeping them busy and giving them something to do. So it's a bit of a fidget toy, but we do definitely love that. It's a tried, tested, true, awesome price point, $13. Now, getting into, let's move these over here. One of my all-time favorites are the Whirly Squigs. So these are around a $25 price point. We're getting a little bit more expensive. This one is also a 10-month uh, starting age. 
I probably wouldn't go any earlier on this. So some people are like, oh, you can start it at six months. This one, because the toy is a little bit heavier, I would wait until they're older. And so what this is, it is a fidget spinner. Um, and on the back side, it has a suction cup. So we're able to suction them onto things and then it'll spin. But the cool part is you can actually get it to stick pretty much onto anything. Um, this won't spin because there's merchandise here. Oh, let me see if I can pop it up taller. Maybe go about halfway there. But just like that. And there is the set of three. So you get three of the Whirly Squigs. They come in the bright colors again. Um, the color choices on all this stuff wouldn't be my first choice, but kids love them and they're drawn to them. So we'd want to point that out. Whirly Squigs, I would say works for kids up to probably five or six. My nephews really enjoyed playing with these. I have three nephews. They're very wild. Um, they love to get into stuff and be very boyish. Um, so I liked that it had moving parts and pieces. I liked that it had the little suction cups. They were able to actually use these for bath time as well to stick them directly onto the wall and get them to turn and spin. And then they would splash brothers. So, you know, there's like a lot of applications for this that could be really fun. Price point on these guys is around 25. Again, a good travel toy because you could stick it right on like the airplane tray and keep them busy. It is something to do. It's another little fidget, but definitely a tried, tested, true winner, in my opinion. Um, and again, we'll start from ages 10 months and go all the way up to probably around age five for engagement. So that's really cool. I've seen adult men and women play with these too. So, uh, you know, it, they're timeless toys. Now, we're gonna move up to, uh, well, this one got a little ahead of me. We'll go over that in a second. But um, probably my best selling toy period is going to be called the Spin Again Tower. This is the Spin Again Tower from Frat Brain. This is an amazing toy. You get six individual cogs and then you get a spiral, an Archimedes screw, if you will. So that will go directly into the center. And then the children can pick up the plastic pieces and have them drop down in any order that suits them. So obviously if you're working on colors, you could color guide them and help them, but it's gonna uh, develop their motor skills. It'll help them with dexterity. It'll help them with aim, hand-eye coordination. So there's a lot of things going on with this one, but it is quite memorized, or excuse me, mesmerizing to watch uh, the cogs drop down on the screw um, and you can do it repeatedly. The other thing that's great about any of these fat brain toys is that if you were to lose parts or pieces, so like let's say you lose the middle spindle or some of the cogs, you can order those directly from fat brain again as replacement. They're really, really helpful with that. So it's not like you have to go out and buy a whole brand new thing. Obviously you could certainly do that, but um, it is a nice feature. The other thing about a lot of these toys too, being that they're plastic, you're able to clean them very easily. So I'm able to have this out on my floor, I can bleach it, and then the next day I can know that even if I've had kids in here coughing and snotting all over everything, we can start over fresh, clean, have the clean toy, and just be ready to go. So um, again, Spin Again Tower, easily my best-selling fat brain toy for the last several years. Uh, ages 12 months plus, I have seen kids as little as eight months have interest in it, and I've seen adults have interest in this well beyond uh, the recommended age, which I think they probably say is four or five. But big kids, little kids, all kids like to play with the Spin Again Tower. Price point on this one is 35. So we're increasing in age and we're increasing in cost for the toys, which is totally fine. Just things to keep in mind. Now, this little guy right here, this is called the Roll Again Tower. I have to say, um, my poor floor model, of all the toys that I've carried over the years, this one definitely gets the most engagement from little kids. It's also the most annoying for me to keep up after and clean up after. That's just because I am a grumpy store owner and I get sick of cleaning up toys after a while. But in your home, I think it would be completely fine. Age on it is gonna be two plus. 
it is uh, $50. So it's the most expensive of the toys we're looking at. And this is a really cool toy because this teaches children cause and effect. So uh, what most people assume is that you start with dropping the ball in the top, and you certainly could do that, but the greater value is when you lift the ball from the bottom there are little hooks in each one of the hubs, and when we lift the ball up, the hooks release, and all of the balls drop down one level. So, when your floor model hasn't been played with 30,000 times, um, you won't have to press your hand on it just to make sure that it does the perfect thing for the camera. This poor toy, like I said, I've had this one for probably three years. I've been able to actually repair it when kids have taken it up and tossed it on the ground and the hooks no longer work. There's a bottom piece that you can open up, get inside, and quite easily repair it. But the cool part is, is that it starts and then it stops. And it would do that a little bit more gracefully in your own home. But as you can see, you can start the balls up there and they just drop down to the next level. So the kids can stack multiple ones up there and then lift them up and then it's like, you know, timber, and they all come down. So definitely a fun toy. Um, price point's $50 and you can set it up with the colors in any order that you want. Balls here come with it. I believe you get six and I've lost them before here in the store. Like they've permanently rolled under stuff that I just can't reach at and you can buy new ones from uh, Fat Brain. So finally, we get to the new toy this year. This is called the Spill Again Tower. And keep in mind, every single toy that I've shown you thus far requires no batteries, no charging. So that's really a nice thing if you're looking for toys that you can open up on a specific holiday without having to worry that you didn't buy the batteries. Every single one that I've shown you is gonna hit that mark. This is the Spill Again Tower. This is gonna be age two plus. This is new. So I say all these toys are tried, tested, true, but this one is brand new for this year. So we are excited about that. And this one gets real messy, so I'll show you, and it's gonna be kind of a nightmare, but it's really fun, and it would make more sense if it were on the ground. They're gonna go ahead and press down. And then the balls go everywhere, and it's like pickup sticks. So it's essentially pickup sticks for little hands. As you can see, some of the balls are still in there. I'm gonna have a fun time running around and picking them all up. They are super lightweight little plastic balls probably feel about the size and weight of a ping pong ball um, so that's pretty sweet price point on that is 35 dollars and i could totally envision excuse me price point on it's 45 dollars i can envision my nephews hitting this thing and watching these balls drop down over and over and just laughing and thinking it's hilarious to watch auntie run after them and have to clean them up. I think that would be very fun for them. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's definitely different from what we usually cover, which is strollers and car seats, but we did want to give you some options for coming into the holiday. Um, if you have questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And we do have one more incredibly awesome toy that is so cool and different, more expensive, that I actually have to dedicate its own video. And that's going to be the Fat Brain Air Tubes. So please feel free to check that one out. If you like this one, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, share the channel with somebody whom this might make sense for. If you want to drop a hint to a family member and send them this video, feel free. And all of these toys are available for purchase at my website, destinationbabykids.com. Feel free to purchase anything you like. If you want to leave me a note, I would love to hear from you about maybe what you like or what you uh, are more interested in seeing, okay? Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.